So what's up? What's up? Where you been? <laughs> I've been, you know, I've been here. Yeah, I, I see. I, I saw you post on Facebook. So. Well, I post a lot of stuff on Facebook. Okay, but you post a couple of days ago about you. You C6. C6? Yeah, C6. Oh, you talking about that? <clears throat> yeah, what about it? Yeah, what, well, how'd that happen? What you mean, how it happened? It happened how, it, I mean, it happened how all of them happened. It happened how C5 happened. It happened how how everybody that ever came to be happened. Throughout the same, you know, interaction and intercourse. Well, how did it happen with you? Because you're a proponent of inside the business choices you make. You, you know, you always got that going on. So how so how how did that how did that come about? I mean you. That's what I don't understand. Tell me. I mean same way same way it would happen with anybody. Just, you know, the flesh get weak sometimes. Find yourself in situations where, you know, you get you get lost in the moment, like it could happen with anybody. <clears throat> But if, if I can remember, actually, hold on, let me let me go, let me go get something. Right, I'll be right back. Let me just go to my car because it's in my car. I'll be right back. Man, and y'all know how it is, man. You know, flesh get weak sometimes. You know, we all, you know, fall prey in situations, if that makes sense. Okay, so here I am, I'm back. Got oh, your book, man. got your book here. And I'm looking at chapter four, Poor Calm Management. So that was you? That's what you're saying? <clears throat> it must be, huh? I can't necessarily say that's applicable to me. I mean, you know, it's, it's applicable to the chapter. You know, see, one thing is, see, that book, that book is, you know, I wrote that book 11 years ago, like 12 years maybe. That was applicable then when that's what it was. This situation right here is what it is right now. And I got to, you know, shit, come forth with 100% with that one like I did with the last one. You did, you, I mean, yeah, I know you do, but choices you make. You made a bad choice, it seems to me. But let me ask you this. How you gonna say it's a bad choice? Well, I mean, are y'all together? We together in a sense. We ain't I mean, we ain't together like like my last son with me and his mama, you know, we was married, but that was then. I mean, no, we ain't married. If that's what you ask, no, we ain't married. Does she have any other children? <clears throat> Yeah, she got some more children. How many? We got a doubt. She got three. And so you're four? The child is four. You said how many kids she got. How many kids does she have? Your child? She got three. So the and child how many is four. Children's fathers does she have? She got three. She, so had, she, she had three prior three. to me. And now you're four. <clears throat> what all that got to do with anything? What all that got to do with anything? I mean, I'm just asking about me because you have always, ever since I have reconnected with you, talked about choices you make. So I'm just seeing how did you make that choice? How did you get hooked up in that situation? You know, if you ever heard me say before on a, in any other previous videos related to the choices you make, you know, when you participate in inspiring, tingling, toe curling, euphoria, shit, you know, at some point you're going to lose control and possibly lose control and get lost in the moment. You know what I'm saying? Then on top of that shit, Mexican. So I ain't never been with no Mexican before like that. And it is what it is. 
Okay, I'm, I'm just asking. So. I had you know, one friend. If, one friend of mine told me I should have made her take a plan B. I'm like, how how can I make somebody take a plan B? I mean, you know. Yeah, you can't make her take a plan. I you can ask her I mean, to though. Yeah, I could ask her, but I mean, I I didn't. I was. I mean, I wasn't. I guess I wasn't really thinking about that in the moment or whatever. But I don't. I don't know how the fuck she got pregnant. <laughs> Well, you just told me. How does it happen? We know. I mean, how it yeah, that's how it happened. With I mean, well, see, this just this is serious. It's complicated. I mean, because what know. about little church? When, when do he does he know about it? No, nah, he, he don't know. He gonna find out when everybody else find out. I don't owe him no. I mean, you feel like I owe him a conversation or something about my business. I'm his dad. He ain't my dad. You're right, but but he is. This is this child is going to be his brother. And that's going. I mean, be that as it may, that's going that's going to be established between them when they connect with each other and you know do all that. So you know, it's time and time to talk about. It. Oh, okay. So he he doesn't know yet, but he will find out. I mean, in time. It ain't nothing I'm pressing, you know, he in college, so he ain't gonna you know, he ain't, he ain't gonna be here, you know what I'm saying? To, you know, be right up in the situation or whatever. Alright, well it seems like you got it all planned out or or you have an explanation for it all, should I say, because it wasn't planned out, definitely. What you mean? It wasn't planned out. Was it a plan for you? We talking about a plan B and all that could have been planned. You so oh, so we ain't take a plan B. You saying was it a planned pregnancy? I no, it wasn't. No, nah, it wasn't no planned pregnancy. Like I said, you know what I'm saying. It's, it's situational. You find yourself in a situation, and you know what I'm saying. You participating in a situation. Right, and and that's what I'm saying. I'm saying so you're okay with it. You're okay with the. Next I ain't necessarily okay with it. I mean because it's against what I it's against what I do. It's against what I. What I previously been standing on and what I've been standing for, I ain't against it. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? It's God's will. You know, we got to let God's will be done. I got to take care of my business if it's mine like it's supposed to. I mean, you know, like I'm being told it is. Well, then I got to take, you know, so how you take the responsibility I, and, you know what I'm saying? Do what when I are you going to gonna necessarily find out for sure? I don't know. I mean, I ain't pressing it. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I just got caught up with the little baby and all that. But, uh, you know, I got a vasectomy at the same time. So, it's got me all fucked up because I'm thinking, is the vasectomy working? Is she lying? You know what I'm saying? She telling me she pregnant. Well, I know I got a vasectomy, so allegedly the baby's supposed to be for somebody else. But I ain't said nothing to expose none of that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, but so if you had a vasectomy, you don't know because if this is the case, you have a, a something to talk to the doctor that performed the vasectomy. But we re really need to know, or you really need to know for sure if it's your child. For sure. I'm trusting the vasectomy more than worrying about finding out if it's my child. I mean, the vasectomy been working. I ain't had nobody come tell me about no baby. Until you know now. Until now, right. And then see, my thing is, you know, the baby ain't got nothing to do with that. The baby ain't asked to be here. I mean, you know, when you playing with your baby, the baby looking up at you, I'm tickling the baby, playing with him like I used to do with Blake when he was little. He, the baby doing the same shit Blake was doing, so shit. You know, I'm just caught in the moment, you know what I mean? I get that, you caught in the moment, but you still need to know if this is actually your child. I know I got a vasectomy. I understand. But she told you it's your baby, right? Yeah, she don't, I don't know. She, Yeah. Okay, so you, you just gonna take her at a word and you know you have I ain't worried about this shit. I mean, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, man, you know, the things I used to be standing on, I ain't standing, I am necessarily standing on that at the moment in this situation because I got a vasectomy is what I'm trying to get you to understand. I know you hear me, but you need to listen. I got a vasectomy. So I need to get in touch with the doctor or whatever. With, I mean, the man told me about performing on me. 
shit. At that time, he hadn't done over 5,000 vasectomies. He ain't never had, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got Nobody that. come back and say nothing. So I'm feeling like shit. And when I show her the vasectomy papers, then she might go on and come clean and say, you know, it ain't my baby or whatever. But I mean, I ain't, I ain't really tripping about that. A little playing time with a little baby here and now, you know what I'm saying? It's like playing with a puppy. You know what I'm saying? Just bring you a little joy or whatever. Ain't no big deal. But you know, that's that's pretty much the situation, man. I don't just, a lot of people been calling me and, you know what I'm saying? Texting me and everything about that situation that they heard, they seen, I posted on the, on the Facebook the other day. Man, listen, man, you know, I didn't have people call me sounding like they disappointed or whatever. You know, I don't know. I guess it's cool when they do it. It's a, it's a problem when I do it. You know what I'm saying? So all I want to say to you is, you know what I'm saying? If you if you out there and you're feeling like you're disappointed in me or whatever, you know, how could you be anyway? But if you are, you know what I'm saying, taking that type of energy and that type of action with yourself, man, listen, I want to ask you one thing, man. Are you a Christian? And if you are a Christian, I want you to forgive me. And then when you forgive me, man, just support me, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to remain inside the business.